Najwa, by the music where I did. What? For that period of 10 years. What is the same sequel if you sex, by the way? As a change in a part, I will call Sina Ford. Self sufficient. See me in the self contained. <laughs> <laughs> because this is a demonic spirit, you cannot approach a woman. Nikitukidogo Munakosan and Mutuna scared to add in as a muduga and a kiss by the way. Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Toko Talks. My name is Yvonne Kawira. Now, when my guest was in Form 1, he met and got introduced to something that led him to struggle for 10 years to break free from something he calls demonic bondage. He's here to share with us that story and explain how he broke free from that bondage and how he encourages other youth to also break free. Karibu sana, Ramos. Asante, asante sana. Okay, me natoka Moranga Kaute. Okay. Na ninawisi hizo saidi za keno. Kwa majina naitua Ramos Boru. Ramos Mboro. But my real names are Amos Mwirole Boro. Mm -hmm. Ramos Mboro ni majina ya usani kwa sababu mimi ni mwibaji pia wa nyipo za ijiri za kumsifu mungu mm -hmm. na ni meokoka na yesu ni buwana. Mm -hmm. So there is this boy wacha ni same ni anirafiki yagu hadi waleo ni, ni yeali ni introduce but Siwaga, siwezi ni kamuraimu, ni kamuraimu juu, inajua ni kama mchezo mchezo hivi. Mm, Napiwa likuwa na choice ya kusema no. Likuwa na choice ya kusema no, so mm -hmm. I cannot blame him. So, yeah. alikuwa nakuja na hizo vitu, wacha, ni, we are talking about masturbation here. So, <coughs> alikuwa nakuja na hizo video, naona, alikuwa nakuja na hizo video, tunazi watch uh, time, time ya, when we are free, tukiwa sule. That is in form one. Uh, tunazi watch, tunazi watch, tunazi watch, but... Yeah, I think he was not addicted. Ama haziku mwigia sana, ni kama haziku mwigia sana. We were, tulikuwa a group. Mm -hmm. Tuseme like a group of five, six boys. So, but mimi, mi tuseme ni kama nidichukulia siria sana kuliko masomo, nona? Tuseme oh. ni kama yodi ya masomo nya nidiedea uko sule. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, nikakuwa addicted kwa ya. Nikuwa na ziwachi sana. Nikuwa na ziwachi sana. Zika kuwa, kama zika chukua, almost like every space in my mind. Uh, nona in, in, in my thoughts. So, Sikuwa na concentrate sana na masomo. Nikuwa sure yes, sikuwa na perform vizuri sana, siwe zidaganya, but zidichukua, zidifanya yaani ni fail kwa, 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 kwa masomo yangu. Mm -hmm. Ya. Yeah. Uninini ilikuwa inaendelea, like for example, ulikiwa shule, mm -hmm. other students are in school, ama wana study for, or revising, mm -hmm. what are you doing instead of studying? Are you taking these phones and hiding away? What are you doing? Ok, hile kitu nikuwa nafanya, si ya mekuja na iyo phone, mm -hmm. so mini nikuwa na ichukua, Wacha tuseme, uh, siku wana na itumia wakati mwalimu wako kwa krasa ama nafutisa. It mm -hmm. was during, uh, wakati niko free naona. Break time, ranch time, uh, time kama yo wakati, yani niko free. But inona hata kama na itumia wakati niko free, kile, kile, kile masomo ama <coughs> hile kitu mwalimu watasomesa pale, siwezi nikaishika. Jumimi niko na vitu zikine zenye na eka. Mm -hmm. Niko na vitu zikine na eka. Wacha niseme, by the time venye tu unaeda ukizuwatch mingi, unaeda ukiwatch hii na hii na hii na hii, unapata umewatch mingi. So, hile kitu waga inaleta na inajiri ileta dani yako inakuwaga ni dom, di, demonic spirit mm -hmm. yenye yu waga inaleta masturbizo. Uh, you don't watch that so that you can masturbate, but we una, una watch just for fun, unaona? Lakini yu, kwa hiyo harakati unapata kuna hiyo spirit of masturbation inakuja. Mm -hmm. Inaletu na shetani waga anaideta, ya yeah, anaideta automatically, kwa sababu umezi watch sana. Hiyo mm -hmm. picha yuko already in your mind. So hiyo spirit waga inapata yu nafasi ya kukuja na ina take over. Una change unakuwa giant. In, uh, unakuwa giant, unakuwa mtu mwingine. Mm -hmm. Watu wanakuona ni wewe, but you are another person. Umecheji, watu, umecheji automatically. That is when that spirit come. comes and, in. Yeah. Na ulianza kufeel hivu ukiwa form one, but one. It is not in form one. Mm -hmm. Watu tuseme ni kamalizo yu mwaka, ni kuwa na watch two pole pole just for fun, but the time ni kinefika form two hapo, hapo katikati, hapo katikati term two, uh, I started, ni kaanza, yani ni kaigia tu kwa masturbation. Mm. But siku, siku najua, hata siku najua kuna jina kama master beso, na hata siku najua ni kitu kama master beso. Niani ni nijipata, unawana kujipata tu, unajipata tu, but siku wanafanya hivyo nikuwa sule, when I am home. home. Nikuwa kwa rumu yangu, nikuwa peke yangu. Unapata tu unafanya hivyo, but you, you, hujui ni kuwa nini, but ni, ni kama unakimusukumu, nona, it is a presser that, ni, ni kuna kitu unakusukuma, unasikia tu kufanya hivyo, nona. Mm -hmm. So it is not you anymore. Yeah. How is it affecting you at this point? Kwa sababu ukiwa nyumbani, mm. of course unenda shule na kurudi home every journey. Are your parents noticing kwa mba Ramos ame change? Ama kuna tabia uliko kifanya kitambo sasa umeacha kuinteracti na watu? Are you affected in other ways other than you kujificha sasa? Wacha niseme, during that stage, mm -hmm. njupia ni stage ya adolescent, wacha niseme, wazazi huwaga, they cannot notice, 
na isipokuwa wakuwe makini sana hawawezi wakajua na hawakujua by the way uh, ni kwa sababu wanaona vile una change wanaona unafaa ito sasa like unafaa kucheji kwa sababu sasa umekuwa mtu mzima unaona uko form uko high school obvious so unafaa kucheji sasa wanaichukua ni kama normal but wewe unacheji na long way unaona mm. you are moving toward the wrong direction okay. na hawajui pia utaki hautaki wajui hawajue lakini kuna mtu anaweza kuangalia vya jue vyenye tu unaenda wewe unabadilika unabadilika by the kuna tu behavior kuna vyenye tu una behave na it is not in good way. It was not in. Uh, Tuseme kitu ya kwanza unapata mtu hawezi hutaki kukuwa socio sana na watu wale wengine. Utaki kwenda mahali kuna watu wengi, unataka kujikalisa and then unapata huyo mtu anakuwaga na hasira sana. Ukiona mtoto wako ameanza kukuwa na hasira, hataki ku socialize na wale watu wengine. Unajua watu wanasamaga ati watu wa drugs ndio tu huaga wanakaa kado, but pia watu wa wenye wanafanya masturbation. Unapata huyo mtu anakuwaga na hasira sana. Unapata huyo mtu hataki kutabia na watu wengine. Unapata huyo mtu hataki kukuwa kwa relationship na msichana by the way mm. eh? that is in kama kwa addicted so much uwezi ukampata kwa hizo vitu zingine unapata pia kwa activities like football hard ball netball games like that uwezi ukampata by the way anataka tu kujikalisa ukimuongelesa tu mnaongea tu kidogo yana anajipea shughuli anajikata anaenda hiyo uh, ni sign inafaa kukuuliza inafaa tu unamchuguza na unafaa kumfuata ujue ni nini anafanya kuna kitu anafanya yenye high five by the way mm -hmm. hata kama si masturbation peke yake atu great just must have kuna mm. vitu zingine by the way ukiona mtu tu hataki kukua ku so, socialize na watu na watu wengine jua kuna kitu kingine ana feature na wacha niseme kama by the way ni gefua to evil by the way si gefika hapo si ge take all that years uh, that period of 10 years it is a period of 10 years that Shaki i really struggle mm. yeah nilikuwa najaribu kutafuta usaidizi kwa 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 wacha niseme sikuwa na abia na sikuwa na na, na share na watu kwa sababu it is unakuwa naibu by the way unakuwa naibu hata unasidi sasa nita approach watu wa, wa, nita nita approach mtu waje nimwambia tena i am going through this uh, ile kitu nilikuwa nafanya okay nilikuwa naenda church kawaida tu lakini sikuwa naenda kwa sababu nimeokoka mm -mm. Nikuwa naenda na katu kule nyuma lakini wacha tuseme mtu mwenye ako na calling na mtu mwenye mungu ako na haja na yeye huaga hamuachilia na apoteka bisa ama ha, hamutupiri ibali by the huaga na kuvutia tu kwa ubali kwa ubali kwa ubali nikuwa naenda church na, na kaa pale nyuma tu nafuatilia but isi ya ti uwezi sema mimi ni meba sana but mm. tu naenda just to go nona wacha niseme the spirit of God was with me na huaga na oba by the way nilikuwaga na oba mm. lakini siku oba ili nilikuwa na oba nasema Mungu tu mimi nataka tu niodrei kitu. Unaona? Ju ni kitu najaribu kuacha na nimeshidwa. So nilikuwa nabia Mungu nikijifugia mahali nasema God I really need I really need you. I really need you, need your help. Come and help me. Come and rescue me. Unaona? So Mungu alikuwa anasikiza tu hiyo sauti. Alikuwa anasikia tu nikimuomba lakini ananiambia pengine your time is not now. Unaona? Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu pia anakuwa na mipango yake na anakupagia so uka struggle na hii kitu mpaka ukamaliza high school mm. bado ukitaka ku break free but it was difficult uh, but you can't say with any but so you can't share so ni diagani kaona so i cannot tell my parent teachers my friends so unaona it mean ilikuwa addicted mpaka ule hakujua ha, mwenye alinitroduce mwenye alikuwa anakuja na hiyo simu so mimi nikaachana nayo juu hata hajui kuna kitu nafanya mm -hmm. mimi nilikuwa namuitisa tu naona juu kwa sababu mimi sikuwa na simu yeye alikuwa nayo unaona so sikuwa nataka ajue kuna kitu nafanya mm -hmm. na get so mimi nikakuwa addicted na yeye hajui so siwezi nikamwambia by the way unajua ile simu yangu na niletaga naona hivi alafu mimi nafanya hivi siwezi hata hakuna mtu alizawa ijua unaona mm -hmm. so nimi ilikuwa kama mimi peke yangu sijui kama kuna wengine wenye wali struggle i don't know mm -hmm. but i know mimi mimi it ni affect at what point did you get uka decide sasa hii imekuwa too much na ninafaa kwanza kutafuta njia za ku break free mm -hmm. nini ilifanya uko na now the guilt is too much i can't do this anymore oh, what ile kitu nilikuwa nafanya mm -hmm. eh, tuseme nilikuwa kwa nyumba tu by the way nilikuwa na bible na family yetu tuseme ni ya wahubiri kwa wahubiri wengi by the way that spirit is, it is in our family mm -hmm. that's why nilikuwa na feel so much guilt i'm not doing the right thing no na hiyo mm -hmm. spirit ilikuwa tu uh, so nikiwa kwa nyumba by the way nilikuwa tu nasikia kuoba mimi ni mtu wa maombi by the way nilianza kitabu hata kama sikuwa nimeokoka mm -hmm. nilikuwa tu afadhali niambie mungu tu neno moja kuhusu maisha yangu tu nilikuwa naona obvious i'm the first born mm -hmm. Yale maisha naishi na zile vitu nafanya na ile picha na portrait kwa wengine si picha yenye inafaa so i'm supposed to be a good example to kwa yenye wananifuata so nilikuwa na tu nasikia tu nasema mungu mimi naweza taka tu kukuwa na maisha mazuri i want to be a somebody in the society 
I want to be a somebody in your service. Naona kwa church. Mm. Nilikuwa natamani sana kukuwa kwa church by the way. Kuna watu nilikuwa natamani naona wako na maisha mazuri sana wakiwa katika kanisa naona wakifanyia Mungu kazi. Mm. So I was praying na haikuaga ile serious but you know, I was somehow to say deep but serious and kuna bia Mungu mimi na tu nataka tu ni odole hii kitu juu sijui ni nitoka wapi by the way. Lakini nilikuwa nilikuwa tu nasikia hii kitu imenifuga juu si hadi kwa mahali kwa watu wengi na I'm so wrong unaona? I'm too wrong. I'm so wrong here. And the guilt. Acha ni kwambie kitu kingine by the way watu waga ni. Okay, unaachana hadi na Alidenso zi. Unajua by the music why did? Why? For that period of 10 years. Is you wasn't kakuta gani by the way? Interested in women at all. Sasa chenye naweza pata huko sina afford. Self sufficient. Si mimi ni self contained. Hivyo ndivyo tutasema. Na sasa sasa mbona ile kitu naweza pata huko ile la naweza pata huko and then sasa niko naona sasa nikipata msichana na kupea pesa na nini na nini na nini anitiza pesa but mimi hakuna kitu na you get so wacha tuseme mtu akiwa kwa kwa hiyo uaga unapata unafika mahali unaona i don't need any reason sasa bro i don't need any stack mtu by the unaona sasa mimi nilikuwa nimefika hapo na siku i date na siku i wacha tuseme siku ifanya sex by the way to be open not to be serious Siku fanya. Siku fanya. Unaona. Sasa unaona mtu mwenye yako kwa kwa masturbation by the way, uaga unaona kama kufanya sex ni kitu baya. Sasa kwa masturbation it is the the the, the good thing. It is the good thing. Eh, unaona mimi siwezi fanya hiyo. And then hauna confidence ya ku approach msichana. By the way unakuaga na tunaitaga aje. Ro self esteem. Yeah. Inakuaga chini sana by the way. You cannot approach a girl. You cannot approach a woman that is ukiwa kwa mwana wewe ni mwanaume mm -hmm. eh. wakati ulikuwa una struggle na hii masturbation mm -hmm. ulikuwa una feel nini nilifanya uka, uka, uka link to demonic is it something that was taking control over you mpaka unashindwa kujicontrol wewe mwenyewe mahali nilijua, mahali nilijua eh, this is a demonic mm -hmm. it is because kitu yenye inakuwa tu ni ya ni ya kawaida tu inakuwa ni easy to get out of it unaona yes kitu ya kawaida something that is normal but it's something that is being pushed kama kuna another power that is behind that thing that is why unajua it is this is demonic mm -hmm. nona this is demonic and then mimi ni mtu wa biblia nilikuwa naona uh, what is the idea behind this ama hii kitu inakuja kwa nini ama ni uh, ya nini by the way it mm -hmm. is the spirit that is poor that is being powered all around the world unaona si kenya peke yake si mimi peke yangu by the way ni divyo ni ni notice si mimi peke yangu nikasikia watu wengine pia wa, wa addicted wengine wengi sana pia ma celebrity watu wengi by the way na hawaoni kama ni sida ama hawaoni wanafanya ubao wote unaona inakuaga sasa by the time sasa vinye sasa tuko mahali tumefika kama society uh, unapata hii kitu sasa watu wana embrace mm -hmm. ni Mekua kama normalized mm -hmm. by the way kufanya masturbation sasa sahi haoni kama ni makosa by the way unajua hivyo mm -hmm. watu haonagi ni kama ni makosa but wacha nikwambie wewe utaanza tu pole pole utaanza tu pole pole peke yako but the time utakuwa addicted utajua utahitaji mtu kama Ramos ya kuongeleza Wow. Utaanza kunitafuta. Wale mm -hmm. watu wananitafuta by the way. Watu wenye wako Qatar, wenye wako Saudi Arabia, watu wenye wako Maju by the way. Mtu anakuambia mimi niko kazi lakini mimi nimesidwa kufanya kazi. What? Nimesidwa kufanya kazi kwa sababu unaona mtu alikuwa yaani amekuwa addicted unaona. Nataka tu nisaidie mtu anakupiga simu akiria. Usitake kufika hiyo stage mtazamaji. Mm -hmm. Usitake kufika hiyo stage unaona. So it is better you decide na uachane na hiyo kitu mapema as early as possible kabla if you haven't started na kama hujaanza mm. na una unasikia tu unataka atiku test atiku test aachana na hiyo aachana hiyo kitu ni baya kabisa ebu take me through your healing journey na vile uli break free what happened i was somewhere wacha tuseme saidi za rogai mahali nilikuwa kazi mhm uh -huh. eh na there is pastor ni rafiki yangu sana anaitwa pastor Raymond Musyoka wakaniza kanisa ya sita anakuaga ni wa worship huko so this pastor alikuwa customer yangu alikuwa anakuja ananipata hapo akaniambi na wewe pia nakuona wewe rafiki yangu unaona vile nakuona kuna kitu inakusubua so aliniachia na baba by the way ni mugu tu alimtuma just imagine mugu tu alim na mimi nilikuwa hiyo wakati nilikuwa nimefika unaona wakati unasikia tu umefika hapa niko nasema si mtu tu aniulize ni nini inanisubua ma mtu tu akuje tu anisaidie okay. by the way i need somebody to help me i need god unaona hiyo ni wakati sasa ilikuwa kitu ni, ni stage ya mwisho by the way by the way hata nikijifanyia kitu baya unaona hiyo stage oh. ni ile stage hata mnakosana na mtu by the way unapata 
ni kitu kidogo mnakosana na mtu unasikia tu hadi unaweza mduga na kisu by the way una make bad decision ona mimi nilikuwa nimefika hiyo stage by the way mm. so mimi nikapiga hiyo pastor nikada nikasia na nikapata hiyo college tu nikapata hiyo college but i cried so much nikisia na juu sasa nasikia ni kitu yani nasikia aibu sana nasikia aibu sana sasa nasikia sasa what am i saying naona yani ukiwa tu mtu wa kawaida mtu normal mm. niridia sana but akani encourage akani be don't cry hii ni kitu watu wanapitia sana na ni kitu sahi watu wana inasubua watu wengi sana wacha nikwambia tulioba tu mimi aliniambia unataka aje mimi nikamwambia mimi nataka tu mimi kama naweza tu acha hii kitu akaniambia pia ile kitu unaweza fanya si kuacha utaacha jaribu kuokoka utaokoka akamwambia yes ah tukaoba na nikaamini nimeokoka and then kutoka hapo akanipea tips akaniambia juu wewe una, you are struggling with the masturbation juu umeokoka you need to be praying in the morning saa saba na jioni uh, make prayers you are happy tunaona if aliniambia by the way aliniambia maneno mazuri sana if you make prayers you are lifestyle miracles will become a lifestyle mm-hmm. Wacha be- so mimi nilikuwa naoba sana unaona nilikuwa naoba sana uh, by the maobi dio ilinifanya ni beat nitoke uh, kwa hiyo easy but wacha nisizame ni maobi sana but ni due time ya god ilifika and then mm-hmm. niliamua ku speak up the time you speak up you that- defeat it that is the starting point of the healing unaona mm-hmm. unaanza kuhiri wakati umeshea juu hiyo spirit itakagi mtu anayeogerea by the way inakuanga ime ni kama unakuanga umeshikwa tu hivi haitakagi mtu mwenye ana speak out haitakagi mtu mwenye anaogea mm-hmm. the time that i shared nilisikia ni kama niko relieved nilisikia kama ni kama kuna muziki imetoka sijui ni kwa sababu ama nimeokoka lakini unajua ukiokoka unapeaga mugu muziki yesu uh, everything so mm-hmm. alipe, alichukua mpaka hiyo So na nikakuwa gavel so, by then nikaanza kujiara nikaanza kujielewa by then nika, oh so i can sing mm, i can preach when to ka discover kumbe ulikuwa na talent ah kumbe mimi ni mwibaji by the way wadha <laughs> yanga <laughs> na manaro so no na so nikaanza kuji, kujijua so nikajua niko na hiyo talent mm-hmm. na sasa hapo ndipo nilianza kuiba na nikarudi kwa church na sasa mimi ni youth chairman katika kanisa letu. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nini ni push other than ku open up to pasi ambaye alikusaidia ku break free. Mm. Us pick up to the public mpaka watu wa Saudi wanajua Ramos nikitaka mtu atanisaidia ku beat him <coughs> trauma ni ni yeye nitakuja kwake. What push you to open up? Okay, ile kitu ni push. Mm-hmm. Okay, si niliokoka. Niliona mm-hmm. niliokoka na hii ni kitu Mungu tu amenihurumia juu nilikuwa nimejaribu miaka mingi yeah. nikaona mimi Mungu amenihurumia kwani Mungu amenipenda aje na hakuna pesa nimelipa hakuna shule nimeenda hakuna rehabilitation nimeperekwa ni Mungu tu kwa huruma zake kwa neema zake mm-hmm. akanifugua so why should die nikae chini ya maji watu wengine wakiteseka unajua mimi ilinifugua nikaona kuna watu wengine wengi sana wenye wanateseka so nikajua kwa shukrani kwa Mungu ili, ili iwe ni kama ni shukrani ya mrudishia Mungu I want to help others nataka kufanya watu wengine wali arise how it is bad yani vile wanafanya kitu bayo unaona na ukifanya mtu ajue ako kwa makosa kuna possibility ye yeah? acha hiyo makosa sidiyo mm-hmm. afuata ile jia ukweli okay. so when you speak up watu wasikia haya kuna watu wana, na inakuwaga hivi mtu atapata atapata yani atapata jia kutoka huko unaona mm-hmm. ata reach out to you na umuelezea ama umuelekeze vile atatoka huko naona mm-hmm. pia ni watu wengi huaga wanasikia mimi nikisea hii story wanasema he au wagopi nauliza kwa nini niogopa kwa nini people think this is shameful eh? why are you talking about this let me tell you kuna vitu zingine zinakuaga uh, kuna uh, mimi uokovu yangu mm. vile mimi najua na vinyi nakuaga by the way ni vitu zenye zinaleteaga mungu utukufu mm-hmm. zinakuaga na aibu kwa watu ambao hawajaokoka hapo unafaa kusema amen. Amen. <laughs> Zinakuaga zaibu kwa watu wenye ambao hawajokoka unaona? Mm-hmm. So wakati unafanya kitu inaletea Mungu tukufu, yeah. watu wengine huaga na sidwa gai. You are doing a very bad thing, unaona? Mm-hmm. A shameful thing to the community, to yourself, to your parent, to your family. So unaona? Mm-hmm. So na mimi wakati say, mimi saidi gine mwenye nimeokoka naona I'm doing the right thing. Yes. I'm bringing the glory and honor to God, unaona? Mm-hmm. So unakuaga nafanya tu kwa moyo safi niki yani hadi the time when i'm doing this ama wakati na share tuseme right now nasikia ga, the spirit of god is in me na nasikia ga tu mungu akiniongeleza na anani encourage na nimpea nguvu ananiambia continue doing that i'm proud of you i'm proud of you keep going i'm with you 
wazazi wako relatives wako brothers wako dada zako walisikiaje ambapo first of all my parents uh, my parents are say hawajaijua by the way hawajaijua hawajaijua ni kwa sababu wacha tuseme ni kwa sababu wao si wazazi wangu si hawa wa, wa digital hawana hizi simu zenye wanaweza get you know mm -hmm. unless wabiwe na watu wengine but mimi sijaisikia wakiniuliza mm -hmm. but unajua tu watu wanakuaga msene <laughs> uh, maybe pengine <laughs> wame, wameabiwa but hawatakaki kuniuliza since i'm the first born unaona first born mm. anakuwa kapia yeye ni kama mzazi anakuwa <laughs> ni mzazi mwingine <laughs> so mimi <laughs> sijai ulizo but they are proud of me because wanaona huyu mtu alikuwa amepotea mm -hmm. okay siku potea hivi ati useme nilikuwa kwa pobe na nini i was yani uwezi kujua kuna kitu ina happen kwa mimi kwa, kwa maisha yangu but unaona huyu mtu hako sawa <laughs> vile but unaona ukiwabia mimi nimeokoka wanajua ni kweli umeokoka ni kwa sababu kwa kanisa na unaiba na unafanya ijiri na tu maisha yako imebadilika unaona na unakuwa unakuwa very courageous unaona mm. to speak to other people yani na venye tu wanaona tu na i think they are proud of me wow mm. all right mtu aki reach out to wewe size kwa sababu amejua ile kitu li struggle now and they've overcome it mm. ni tips gani unawapatia anga are there you know several steps people should take ile kitu waga naanza nayo ni kusema mm -hmm. Watu wanaonanga ni kama kufanya masturbation ni kama hamkosai mugu but mimi huaga nalifaa mtu namwambia this is thing is even in the bible but according to your own understanding vile una understand bible na vile huaga una understand the word of god ndio mm -hmm. huaga inakufanya uelewe kitu ni baya ama si baya Simba. but kuna kuna a very big chapter in the genesis in the book of genesis uh, and it is chapter number 38 inakuwa it is about story of juda a man called juda and a woman called Tama. Okay. Huyo mzee alikuwa na vijana wat, watatu. Mm -hmm. eh, huyo kijana wa kwanza akaoa akaoa huyo msichana mwenye anaitwa Tama. Na wakati walikuwa wa, katika hiyo harakati ya kufanya tendo la doa I think badra ya mwaga hiyo nguvu yake ya kiume ndani unaona as in venye sex inafaa kukua anamwaga nje but let me tell you the revelation that i get from reading that verse or reading that chapter god revealed to me that that is masturbation because in masturbation vile waga unafanya si unamwaga nguvu yako nje you are imagining that you are having sex hata kama pale si kuimagine anaifanya but unaona hajamwaga nguvu yake huko anaimwaga mahali kwingine nje so that it, pia unaweza sema na wacha ni kuambia by the way jua kufanya hivyo Mungu anamwambia nimekasirika na Mungu alimwambia nimekasirika na wewe sana umefanya kitu ya hivyo sana katika bere ya macho yangu akamuua mm. alimuua just imagine kama Mungu alimuua huyo kwa sababu kwa sababu ya kufanya hivyo na wewe hata na, na ufanye hivyo na mwanamke na unafanya peke yako tu unakaa hivyo si una hata unafaa kuwaa kitabu sana <laughs> so hiyo ndio waga na abia watu enda usome hiyo Genesis 38 it is about mm. Judah and Tamar utapata hiyo story aliua hadi kijana wa pili wa huyo mzee mm. second but you your time ni ulikuwa unapata wife anakuaga inherited so wakati huyo first born alikufa akachukuliwa na second born na yeye pia anafanya family wanasema mimi siwezi nikazana huyu na alikuaga wa brother yangu so pia anamwaga unaona ni kama spirit inakuwa kwa family unaona mm. so another thing yenye inatuonyesha inaweza kuwa hii kitu kama wewe ni first born unanifanya inaweza pia rudi kwa familia yenu inaweza pata your second born ama watu wenu pia watakuwa na, na affected na, because this is a demonic spirit unaona ni kitu Mungu ana fight nao ni kitu Mungu anaikataa na anasema hii ni kitu ya ibu bere ya macho yako mm -hmm. akaua second born unaona nataka watu wende wasome hapo mm -hmm. na watasaidika pia that is master based on according to me and according to the revelation that God give me unaona mm -hmm. yeah tip number 2 ya kustori tip number 2 Tip number two, you must decide. You must decide. Useme enough is enough. Unajua kupata usaidizi lazima wewe pia uamue. Uwezi kusaidia mtu mwenye hataki kusaidika. Ni lazima useme mimi nimefika mwisho. Mimi nataka kusaidika. Na ukipatana na mtu kama huyo inakuwa ni rahisi sana kuacha na kutoka kwa Addison ya Master Bezo. Unaona? That is ukipatana na mtu mwenye ame decide. Watu wengi wenye huaga wananipigia simu wananipigiaga akiria akisema mimi nimefika mwisho wa kinataka unisaidie na mtu kama huyo unamuongeza tu kidogo unamuinspire you just give him a sort of story of nampatia stories uh, kidogo tu ya gunona anakuwa ga inspired na anapata nguvu anasema nitaacha nitaachana nayo na tunaanza na mimi ile kitu huaga nafanya watu wenye wenye sahii hata wenye nasaidia sahii mm -hmm. na muambia leo ni lini si umenipigia leo tuseme leo ni friday mm -hmm. tutaanza kukauti kuanzia keso <coughs> 
tomorrow on Saturday itakuwa ni day one. day one. Tuna wewe unahakikisha haujafanya masturbation hiyo siku yote. Okay. Inaisha. Mm -hmm. Jioni unanipiga unaniambia na ukue honest haujafanya. Ukifanya unaniambia tu umeaguka. Unaona ukifanya unaniambia tuna start again. Mpaka siku utapiga clean sheet. Tunaelewaga tu yani unakuaga tu na siku mzuri naona. Uh, uh, nataka kuanza initiative mm -hmm. na kwa niko na a group of other people wenye nimesaidia wakasaidika na wakaacha wenye pia wanakuwa wako na hiyo guvu na wanasikia tu dania wako na calling because it is a calling yeah. you are not getting you are not get paid you know you are doing this because you want to help other people you want to help the society you know niko na initiative yenye nataka tuko na tukiwa na hao watu nikiwa kama kiongozi nataka kuwa kuwa tukitembea katika high schools because uaga inaanza katika high school unaona mm. hapo tukianza hapo tuanze ku, 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 kuwabia hawa watu about it na how to stop it na pia kuwafanya wajue hii kitu ni, ni baya na ni mm. makosa i think ita, itakuwa vizuri yeah. kuliko kukuja kwa mtu mwenye kwa addicted already unaona true mtu by the kuwabia mtu mwenye kwa addicted inakuaga gumu inakuaga gumu hadi kuna wenye uaga by the na nia rejileta vizuri hadi tunakosana unaona na nia rejileta vizuri ame backslide tena eh ame backslide ame na hiyo mambo yenye unaniambia itawezekana kweli unaona but sasa tukienda pale kwa high school watu wenye wame join form 1 form 2 how i think it will we, we will save a lot of people we will save a lot of guys unaona hmm. tu waogeza tu wabie kuna kitu inaitwa hivi na kama unafanyaanga hivi na hujui ni nini hii ni kitu baya mm -hmm. na inaweza kukuharibia maisha inaweza kukafanya performance yako hapa shule iwe baya kabisa unaona hmm. other than to encourage youth kwa high schools and all of that hmm. kuna calling nyingine uko naye ambayo mbi watu wanaweza kusupport mimi ni mbeo ni msanii okay mimi ni mwibaji wa mm -hmm. nyimbo za kikuyu za mm -hmm. gospel na nashukuru mungu sana kwa sababu ya hiyo neema na ile kitu naweza taka watu wanisaidie nayo ni you go to my youtube channel ndio mm -hmm. ninaanza niko chini kabisa by the way go and subscribe au ambie jina ya channel jina ya channel inaitwa Ramos Boro Official mm -hmm. Ramos Boro Official Ramos Boro Official yeah perfect where to subscribe watch my songs uh, pia story hizo story utazipata hapo then you know share mm -hmm. make other people know unaona See ya. And mm -hmm. then uh, kuna nyimbo mingi sana by the way nime nime record but bado si upload kwa YouTube but I think uh, Mungu atanisaidia tu kwa sababu sina pesa ya kuzifanyia video. Ile kitu nimezifanyia ni audio nime record audio mm -hmm. but video bado. So uaga nataka kuiweka ikiwa full ikiwa pia na video. Mm -hmm. That's why unapata sometimes ina kuaga challenge na pia ina kuaga challenge. Uh, although sijaanza officially ati kutabia katika mashule kuna mahali waga unapata mtu akisikia na kuambia kuja uongeresha watu but inakuwa ni challenge kwa sababu uh, transport transport fee naona vitu kama hizo mm, inakuwa ni, ni challenge na uko na vitu zingine unafaa kufanya naona mm. yeah how can people support you wale ambao wame believe in this talent mm. and this venture you're getting yourself into mm. unaweza ku reach na ku support kwa hizi projects ile kitu naweza sema mm -hmm. kwa hii kwa hii initiative yenye nasema tunataka kuanza ya kutembea katika ma high school tunataka kutembea katika Kenya yote i believe god will make this possible na mimi ningetaka tu mtu mwenye tu anasikia tu anaweza taka kusaidia ama mwenye anaona hii ni kitu inafaa kusupportiwa ama to be supported you can help me kindly yeah. niweze kufikia hawa watoto wenye wako high school hata wenye wako college wenye wako addicted pia unapata credit ya kuwapigia mm -hmm kuwatumia hizo message kuwatumia hizo bible verses unaona mm -hmm. kuwa connect na wachugaji unamwambia huyu huyu stage yenye amefika huyu hataki mimi ni muogeleza anataka maobi anataka muobe hata kama ako beli unaona uh, anataka deliver hizo vitu zote zina everything is money unaona yeah. so uh, mtu mwenye tu anaweza attack ana feel to i'm doing something that can help society you can reach me through my number my phone number okay ni 07 90 88 Four. Zero seven nine zero double eight triple one four. Okay. Uh, you can support in, you can support me in any way you like. Uh, you get. Vinyetu mm. nataka na mugu tu atakubaliki. Thank you so much, Ramos. Thank you. Kukubali ata kukujapa na kushare story yako na sisi. Mm. We don't take it for granted that people have come here and they have trusted us mm. with their stories, hoping to make a difference out there and to you to go family umesikia story ya Ramos and the battles and the struggles he has had to overcome just so that he can be here and be an encouragement to other people are you there and you want to work with him 
on this journey to inspire and support the youth to maybe break free from these demonic experiences or to not start this journey of demonic bondage. Please reach out to him. Support him, encourage him, go to his, to his YouTube channel, like, subscribe, comment, share, and support him in this ministry that he has so much taken care of with the passion that has been given by God. Well, thank you so much for staying with us. Till the end of the show, my name is Yvonne Kawira. And until next time, keep it to God. Good job. <laughs>